Hello everyone! So this is our lesson for today about fractions and we're going to discuss the fundamental operations on fractions. Okay, we have four basic operations. We have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we're going to discuss also the parts of fraction and types of fraction. Okay, first, what is fraction? It is a ratio of two numbers okay let's have an example um the example is 3 over 7 okay so the parts of fractions we have the what we call the numerator and the denominator again 3 is numerator 7 is denominator we have another example of fractions we have 5 over 9 8 over 3 1 over 13 7 over 7 15 over 2 so, these are the example of fractions. And we have types of fraction. The first one is a proper fraction. The second one is improper fraction. And the third is mixed number. Proper fraction. Numerator is less than the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki ang denominator kaysa sa numerator. Okay? So, next, let's have improper fraction. Numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So, meaning... Uh, mas malaki ang numerator kaysa sa denominator or they are equal. And then we have the mixed number consists of whole number and proper fraction. Okay? Pinagsamang whole number at isang proper fraction. Okay? So now let's have an example. Uh, example of proper fraction, we have 1 over 8. 3 over 11, 5 over 7, 10 over 13. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, mas malaki or mas mataas ang denominator kaysa sa numerator. Okay? And then, we have the improper fraction. We have 6 over 4, 9 over 2, 15 over 8, 10 over 3. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, mas malaki ang numerator kaysa sa denominator. Okay, next, let's have the mixed number. Okay, mixed number, we have an example. We have 3 and 2 fifth, 2 and 1 third, 5 and 3 over 7. Okay, again, sa mixed number, pinagsamang whole number at saka proper fraction. Okay, 3, 2, and 5 are whole numbers. Okay, so now let's proceed to the fundamental operations and fractions. The first one is addition or subtraction. So first, we have the addition. How do we add fractions? Okay, we have 5 over 9 plus 2 over 9. Kung mapapansin nyo, same ang kanyang denominator. Okay, so ito yung rule on how to add fractions which is pareho ang denominator na 9 or same or common denominator. Okay, so let's um, just add numerator and copy the common denominator. Okay, just follow the given step. We have now 5 over 9 plus 2 over 9 equals, we add their numerator, so 5 plus 2 is 7, and copy the common denominator 9. So therefore, the answer is 7 over 9. Okay, so that is how to add fraction with same denominator. So, paano kapag hindi same ang denominator? So, fractions must have same denominator or must have common denominator para ma-add natin. Okay, so let's have an example number 2. 1 third plus 4 7. So, it is equal to, since 3 and 7 ay hindi pareho, Okay, so not same denominator. So, let's find the LCM or the least common multiple of 3 and 7. Okay, multiple of 3 and multiple of 7. So, we have 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 3, 9 plus 3, 12 plus 3, 15 plus 3, 18 plus 3, 21 plus 3, 24. Okay, that is how to find the multiple of 3. Okay, now let's have uh, the multiple of 7. Okay, we have now 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus 7 is 21. Plus 7 is 28. So, the LCM is yung pinaka 
malapit na magkapareho sila, which is 21. So, that is the LCM or the least common multiple of 3 and 7. So, yan yung gagamitin nating uh, LCD or least common denominator, okay, which is 21. Okay, then we're going to rewrite 1 over 21 plus 4 over 21. So, again, 21 is the LCD of the fractions. Okay, since my LCD na tayo, so now let's proceed to the next step. We have 1 third plus 4 over 7. Okay, we write 1 over 21 plus 4 over 21. So, again, LCD is 21. Then, we write 1 over 21, divide natin yung denominator, which is 21 divided by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, yun yung imumultiply natin doon sa numerator ng first fraction natin. Then, we have 1 times 7. Plus, okay, we write 4 over 21 and then, i-divide natin yung 21 and 7. So, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So, yun yung imumultiply natin doon sa numerator natin. So, 4 times 3. And then, now, we're going to simplify 1 times 7 is 7, so we have 7 over 21 plus 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12, therefore we have 12 over 21. Okay, now since same na yung denominator nila, i-add lang natin ang numerator, 7 plus 12 is 19, and then copy the common denominator which is 21. Therefore, the answer is 19 over 21. So, that is how to add fractions with different denominator. Okay, now let's proceed to the next one which is on how to subtract fraction. The first example is number 1, 4 over 7 minus 1 over 7. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, same ang denominator which is 7. Okay? So, kung same ang denominator or common ang denominator, ang step lang na gagawin natin is to subtract the numerator and we just copy the common denominator. Okay? We have now 4 over 7 minus 1 over 7. So, since same ang denominator, again, we subtract the numerator for minus 1 is 3 and then copy 7. So, now we have 3 over 7. Okay, so that is how to subtract fractions with common denominator. Okay, so again, fractions must have the same denominator para masubtract natin. Pag hindi same ang denominator, we need to find the LCM or the less common denominator. Okay, we have an example number 2. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 7. So, now we have 6 and 7 sa denominator which is um, hindi pareho ang denominator. Okay, again, we're going to find the LCM or the least common multiple of 6 and 7. Okay, the multiple of 6 and the multiple of 7, we have 6 plus 7. 6 equals 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 6 24 plus 6 30 plus 6 36 plus 6 42 okay so multiple ng 7 we have 7 plus 7 14 plus 7 21 plus 7 28 plus 7 is 35 plus 7 is 42 so therefore our LCM or the least common multiple of 6 and 7 is 42. Okay, again, the LCM is 42 yung pinakamalapit na magkapareho sila ng multiple. Okay, so 42 is the LCM. Therefore, yun yung gagamitin natin LCD or the least common denominator. And then, we just rewrite 5 over 42 minus 2 over 42. Okay, so to change natin siya sa same denominator na nakuha natin LCM, which is yun yung gagawin natin LCD, which is 42. 
Okay, now let's continue. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 7. It becomes 5 over 42 minus 2 over 42. Next, we have 5 over 42. Rewrite natin. And then, i-divide natin yung uh, 42 divided by 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So, yan yung ita times natin sa numerator na 5. Now, we have now 5 times 7. Then, minus. Then the next step is i-rewrite natin yung second fraction which is 2 over 42. Okay, then divide 42 divided by 7 is 6. So, yung 6 na yun, yun yung i-multiply natin sa numerator na 2. So, 2 times 6. Then, simplify natin. We have 5 times 7 is 35 over 42. Minus 2 times 6 is 12 over 42. Since pareho ang denominator, we just subtract their numerator. So, 35 minus 12 is 23 and copy 42. So, that is the answer for this example. 23 over 42. Okay, now let's proceed to the multiplication and division of fraction. Okay, so this is how to multiply fraction. Number 1. 5 over 6 times 1 over 3. Then, it is equal to. Okay, so we just multiply their numerator and multiply their denominator. Okay, so now we have 5 over 6 times 1 over 3 equals, we multiply 5 and 1. Therefore, we have 5 and 6 times 3 equals 18. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 18. So that is how to multiply fraction. Next, on how to divide fraction. 2 over 5 divided by 7 over 11. So the first step is find the reciprocal of the divisor which is 7 over 11. 7 over 11, it becomes 11 over 7. Okay, so babalik ta rin lang natin yung numerator lalagay sa denominator. Okay, and then now rewrite over 5 and 11 over 7. And then, uh, yung divide papalitan natin ng multiply. So, it becomes 2 over 5 times 11 over 7. Okay, then it is equal to 2 times 11 is 22. And then, 5 times 7 is 35. So, we have now 22 over 35. So, 2 over 5 divided by 7 over 11, the answer is 22 over 35. Okay, so that is how to divide fraction. Okay, so thank you for watching. That's all for now. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and click playlist.